In this video we'll go over viewing background trains in both location and the train module in the 3D view. So here I'm in train, I've got my design surface. And if I want to see the topo surface associated with this, well I'll add it in as background. So I'll right click 3D options. I can do add the background from uh, plan view just as easily. Add it here. Hit OK. And right now that background just comes in displayed with contours. Now I can right click and I can adjust the properties associated with that. So if I don't want to see the contours, I can turn off display feature. If I want to see the triangles for that surface, I'll turn on display triangles and shade triangles. And I can choose whichever color I'd like. Now with this, we can see both surfaces, but my design surface is blotted out by the topo surface. So if I'd like to adjust the transparency of that surface, I can. It's in my 3D options as the alpha channel. So that is select the background that you'd like to deal with. With the display triangles and shade triangles turned on, we'll click the plus, and then we'll adjust the alpha channel. So 255 is fully opaque, zero is fully transparent. I'd like to be somewhere in between those two numbers. And there we are. Location is very similar, so here I've got my design and my reference topo surface is included as a background by default, and that background is not, uh, the surface isn't being displayed. I'm going to right click in my 3D options, so this is in location. I'm going to select my topo surface, I'll turn on display triangles, and here I'm going to just behaves the same way. I'm going to set this to be transparent by adjusting the alpha channel. Now if I want to see that road as a road, we can go into 3D options, click train surfaces. We could add in other backgrounds here as train files. I'm going to add in a corridor surface. In this case I'm just going to show my final merge surface finished grade. I'm going to change my color so it's something that contrasts. It gets added in the list here and if I want to adjust the alpha channel I can't here. So here's a case where I want that to be not transparent. We'll go fully opaque, set it at 255. And there we are. So we can see the shaded areas are where we're in cut and the lighter areas are where we're in fill.